So one of the questions I get a lot, particularly for us who live in the South, is water retention. Particularly, again, I live in the South where water retention is a big deal because of the humidity in the air. We do tend to hold more water in our body. Now, if that's not only the situation of why you're holding water, it could be because you're dehydrated. Water retention is our body's way of signaling like a water tower is trying to reserve water because it doesn't know when it's going to get another dose. So this is another reason to spread out water intake through your day. Um, to strive to get between four to eight ounces consumed every hour. Um, and then in the evening, you know, kind of wean off of that so that you can have a good night's sleep without having to get up multiple times. But allowing our body to have a consistent consumption of water helps to not only keep us hydrated, but it reduces our uh, need to retain water. Now, if again, if you're in this environment where you live in a very high humidity or you're just naturally prone to water retention, increasing your water intake is a very good effective way of taking care of that problem. Now, a lot of people will take like a water pill or a diuretic, and those can actually be counterproductive to eliminating water retention. So you want to be very cautious about using those types of products. There are ways to do it without that, but I actually prefer because they're more natural. But there are actually natural diuretics as well that we can get through foods and supplements that make those things not necessary. So the point is drink your water, drink 50% of your body weight daily in water, and the water retention will go away. All right, have a great day, guys.